Hey guys, what's going on? I got my old 77 T-Bird here in the garage and I've got a valve cover leak on it. So I'm going to replace the valve cover seals on it. And um, what I'm going to show you in this video is general automotive knowledge. You can uh, use the basic steps that I'm going to show you in this video and apply it to your vehicle if your valve cover is leaking. And uh, I'm going to get going on this and I'll show you what needs to be done. So I'm getting ready to pull a valve cover on my car and I got a bunch of 7 16 uh, bolts. They are all around the perimeter on both sides. I'm going to pull those, loosen up the spark plug wires, get the PCV valve out of there. And uh, that should be able to enable me to loosen the cover and pull it on off. Okay, so what I did, here's like a little tip for you. If you're not sure what order your spark plug wires are going to go back in if you need to remove them, I just labeled mine one, two, three, four. Um, I'm going to re be replacing the spark plug wires in a little bit. And um, so I just labeled them in that order and to help me remember what order that they went into. So I'm going to pull those out now. So if you run into the same thing, you don't want to get confused when you put them back. Even if it's not, you know, the right firing order. Ew, boy, I got a broken spark plug there. Uh, it's a good thing I bought some. Wow, that's not good. Just label them and uh, you can put them back in the right order. And I'm just going to hang these over like this. I had a misfire in the car and uh, it's probably where it was coming from. And now I can pull the valve cover. So right there is the broken spark plug. Kind of crazy. It's always something, isn't it? So I'll replace these while I've got the valve covers off and it's right there staring me in the face. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do once you get your valve cover off is all the edge right here, clean that up with a rag. Uh, make sure that there's enough, no leftover gasket material on it. You're gonna want a nice clean seal. Uh, if there is some cork, uh, cork or something on it or some rubber, you can take like a, um, a clean new like razor blade just gently like scrape away at it uh, you don't want to gouge just because you don't want to make a leak spot or you know have a, a spot where the oil can penetrate through under the gasket so just gently go over it remove any material and I'm gonna work my way around this and then we'll go to the bench and um, clean up the valve covers all right so I've got my valve covers out and you don't want to take the old gasket material off and uh, looks like somebody probably RTV all the sign. This is a complete disaster. Yeah, but they should have used, I got a nice set of replacement valve cover gaskets like this on Velpros. And uh, it's a better route to go that route instead of RTV in these on. You can do it, but it, you know, these things are starting to leak and it's, it, it's, who knows when they did this. It could have been 40, 30 years ago, this car so old, but it's all deteriorated. If you have some stubborn spots, just kind of go around and uh, you know, with a, a blade or whatever, get all the crud off of there and all the gasket material off. There's a cork gasket that's stuck on there, get the cork material off. So you're going to want to be down. It's like a nice clean metal. You know, I'm going to work on this and I'll get back to you in a minute. Once you have all the uh, heavy material off, what you want to do is grab some brake cleaner and screw these all down. And, um, Clean them up with a couple rags. Get all the gunk out of the inside of your valve covers if there is some. These cleaned up nice. Don't look too bad for it. Not being a 40 year old car though, I'll tell you that. And then I got another one right here. Just make sure all your surfaces are clean. And uh, I'm going to work on cleaning these up and I'll be back to you in a minute. See, these are metal valve covers. So, what I did with these is I still I wasn't happy with it. I still had a little material left from the RTV, so I took a little little bit of a uh, very very fine sandpaper, and it was like this stuff right here. You don't want to coarse at all because you don't want to gouge the metal, but something very very fine. If you got some stubborn spots, go all around it, and uh, you're gonna want it to come out looking like this. And uh, I still got some work to do on this one, but you're gonna want to clean. You're gonna want to clean mate and surface for when you put that gasket on because. I like to do stuff so that I can drive this car for a thousand miles and hopefully it ain't gonna leak. <laughs> so if you if you 
don't go this far and you leave some material on it it's more prone to leaking on the uh the valve covers so you know just spend some time on it guys just get all the material off of there and then it'll give you a nice clean seal when you go to put those gaskets on so we've got these cleaned up really good and what i like to do is put a little bit of a super weather strip adhesive on the valve cover to help hold the gaskets in place while we're putting it on the car So this will help the gasket to stay in place while you put it on. I've got the Felpro gaskets and they don't have any tabs on them. If you look at the valve cover here, um, it has some tabs on it, like right here. So if you had like the cork gaskets, the cork gaskets probably have some tabs to help, help hold them in place with the tab openings. So make sure you line up your bolt holes and just kind of press your gasket into place. And then what you can do too is you can put a couple of bolts in the opening to kind of just help it stay in place for you. So make sure it doesn't move around while it's setting up. And same thing with the other other side. And you're using this adhesive to just kind of, like I said, to help make it a little easier so the gasket doesn't fall out on you. So I put this one in place too. And usually I'll let this set up for a couple of minutes and then uh, put them on the car. All right, so now my valve cover gaskets are all set up. They're on there nice and tight. And uh, I'm going to go put my valve cover back on the car. I check the area on the head and um, the cylinder head, and it's fine. There's no nothing on there it's nice and clean so now you can just put your valve cover back on move anything out of the way that needs to be moved out of the way and i'm going to put all my bolts in i want to catch your bolts by hand Now it's caught by hand, and then this one's caught by hand. Don't want to crank down on them yet, you know, make sure that they're a little bit loose so you can center the other bolts. So if there's any wires, make sure your wires are out of the way and they're not getting caught in anything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to snug these up in a crisscross pattern. You just want to snug these up. Right now, I'm not cranking on them. I'm just getting them a little bit snug. Just enough so that they are really <clears throat> tight as I work my way around the valve cover. And then what I'll do is I'll do one last final um, tightening of the bolts here. Alright, so I'm going back to this one. Back to this one. Back to this one. 
Go back to this one. And hit the two middle ones. You can see as I work around, I'm getting a little bit more out of them. I'm keeping my hand right here. I don't have a, um, a torque wrench in here in my garage. I got to get one, but I've been doing this long enough. I kind of know the feel of it. You don't need to really crank down on them real bad. Just as long as they're snug, you can more likely find the torque specs for the vehicle that you're working on on the internet somewhere. And I'm just going to go one more time around. That's good. So all the basic steps I showed you in this video, can, you can apply it to most vehicles. There might be a vehicle out there that's really different and uh, like it could be like an Audi or a Mercedes or something like that that's really kind of got a crazy setup. But um, this is just the basics. It's general automotive as I said in the beginning of the video. So everything I showed you here, how to clean the valve cover, how to like put the um, gasket on your new valve cover and adhere it to it. So when you flip it over, it stays stuck to the valve cover and it doesn't fall out on you. It makes it easier to get the bolts in. Those are all things you can impl implement on your own. Really hope you liked the video, and I hope it points you in the right direction. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I will reply back to you. Thanks for watching.